Um, looking at sort of the, the scenarios, they're they're not unlike um, that we some of the ones that we saw in you know in between the finance system. Um, you know, synchronization certainly, um, but you know, activity-based reporting, you know, attribution automation, you know, of activities in between the two different systems, getting rate cards and all those types of good things in sync. But we're, today we're going to focus on really the first two, which is around um, project creation and, and activity synchronization. Um, fairly straightforward and ones that are you know kind of I think foundational um, before you start doing any more of the you know advanced or more more deep integration scenarios. Um, okay, so. Uh, again, this isn't exhaustive. Uh, this is, you know, meant to be representative of, you know, kind of what a, a flow looks like and what we would describe as, as really, a, you know, a, a best practice. Um, now, some organizations refer to sort of the movement of data going in between these systems as, as flows or events or, um, you know, data movement or, or what have you. None of those is, is wrong or exclusionary, um, and this is not meant to be exhaustive. There's often many more of these kind of lines going back and forth. But I've tried to simplify it here for the for the purpose of the conversation. The two touch points um, obviously are you know kind of project to project. Um, you know, in Jira in the development world, you know, you kind of have a very different way of looking at things, whether that's either through you know epics and issues and you know stories and so forth. And and in uh, work front, it's you know kind of really around you know the stages of the project and the project name and so forth, and the owners and the actors that are involved. So uh, let's we're going to talk about a scenario here where a um, you know, a project is initiated um, in uh, in Jira and, and ultimately gets you know replicated into Workfront. It's bidirectional. We could turn this around and flip it the other way, and it, and it works exactly the same with with put it forward. It just sort of depends on you know kind of the where you want to start the conversation today. We're going to start it from the um, from the Jira side. So in that scenario, um, you know, you have someone that logs into Jira, um, you know, and, and wants to spawn a project and creates a new project. Um, so that project request goes into, um, you know, it's into its own uh, approval queue and, and mechanisms. Um, then ultimately, uh, you know, another project manager, if it's not the same person, you know, logs in and, and approves and creates, a, creates the project and, or sorry, approves the project and, you know, ultimately creates a story and, you know, starts tasking it out. Um, once the, you know, the criteria has been met for uh, a project to be, you know, created in Workfront, um, the integrations that are built by uh, Put It Forward and configured by Put It Forward um, sense that there's that there's time to do something. And so what I mean by that is there's often a just because you know an event has happened inside of one of these systems doesn't mean it needs to be immediately replicated into the other system. Often there's conditions, there's criteria, there's logic that has to happen with that. So um, once uh, we sense that uh, the criteria have been met. For a, a project to be replicated, the, you know the story details are, are then kind of sent over to either put a put it forward and, and then replicated across into um, into Workfront. And so inside put it forward, we have a number of you know kind of logic engines that um, can work and create projects according to criteria that that you as a as a user inside a Jira can specify. And, by, and this again goes to bidirectionally, so you can do it in the other direction as well. And so we'll create that um, that we'll create that project based on you know the criteria and the rules that you know you specified, and then the next thing that happens after that shell is created, um, you know the 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 tasks in in Workfront and the um, events and the corresponding you know data sets from from Jira are then you know moved over into um, into Workfront and populate the project. And at that point, you can kind of start to do things inside Workfront. And so again, the Note that you know integrations don't involve just system to system; they involve people to system to system to people, um, and, and working together ultimately. So then the uh, uh, tasks are you know assigned to, to resources in Workfront, whatever the criteria may be for that in terms of your own business rules, and then um, you know the individual users come in and, and start updating you know their projects and tasks and so forth, um, and then, then ultimately you know uh, put it forward or PIF you know looks at. Uh, senses when there's a time to update, you know, Jira going back and forth in the other direction, and those rules, it runs through its rules engine, and corresponding objects and analytics are updated in, inside of Jira. Um, so a fairly straightforward, uh, you know, workflow, and, and I can sh share that, you know, many conversations that we have with our customers start with, hey, we just want to sync tasks to tasks or projects to projects. And that's an important place to start, and that's, you know, ultimately where you want to get to, but it generally involves other people in the conversation. So if you're starting from the you know the, the work front side, 
Um, you're going to need to have a conversation with, you know, someone on the IT side before you, um, you know, just want to launch in and, and start to do an integration without, you know, kind of engaging them and, and equally so the other direction. So we find that the best scenarios are, you know, when those two different organizations are working together and have a common vision for um, succeeding. Um, now, what I'll say is recommendations, um, again, is, is, is choose a system of record for um, specific data. Um, and whether that's, you know, if it's the project master data, then, you know, you call it Workfront, and Workfront is a system of record in that regard. Um, and think only real projects. Um, you know, we find that, uh, you know, what I mean by that is that there's a lot of work that's, you know, maybe done inside of JIRA that, um, you know, isn't appropriate to be aligned with a Workfront project, whether that's, you know, bug squashing or technology or, or something along those lines that's just not needed. Um, you know, you keep those things resident inside of JIRA and equally things that don't need to be, you know, replicated into JIRA from Workfront don't need to move over. Um, and, and the best integrations are, are you know, bi-directional um, in, in nature as well. Um, and, and documents, this is a, a very common thing. Where do you keep documents? Do you just, uh, do you replicate them? Um, and I'd say that, you know, from a best practice and a, and a governance perspective, the answer is no. You, you, keep the, you keep the document, you know, in the system of record and where you choose to keep it. Um, the issues that come along with replicating documents across systems are that, um, you know, you can have two people touching the same document and having different versions of it and, and you, you have a, a forking and a fracture of, you know, of a truthful uh, artifact. Um, there's also a second method, and, and I wanted to kind of surface this as well just for the, you know, the purposes here is that um, you don't always have to do, you know, people to system to system to people again. Um, you know, kind of inside of the, the PIF universe, you, we have, you know, analytics, and we use this our, our, ourselves as well, is, is we, we call a profiler, and what it is, is is a way to view data in context. So you can think of a dashboard that's actually only, you know, hiving off or living off of the data, you know, inside of a source system and where it's view only inside of the target system. So inside a Workfront, you maybe don't necessarily want all the, the JIRA data resident, um, but, per, but you do need a view into a project. And so, you know, rather than kind of running a report and seeing, you know, in discrete data values being moved over into, you know, individual reports or projects inside of Workfront, you have the ability to view in context. So what that means is being able to see a project um, as it's, um, or sorry, project data and, and analytics that mean something to you about a project that's being executed in JIRA in Workfront without actually having to move all the data going over there. Very handy, very quick way to, to move through things. So let's um, talk about the uh, last scenario here. And um, this one's probably a little bit uh, deeper. And um, it, it covers a, 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 lot of, a, a lot of activity. Um, and so I'm going to focus on you know, marketing automation meets, you know, project automation uh, here. Now, I chose, uh, you know, Oracle Marketing Cloud, and so this, you know, implies Eloqua equally as, you know, could be responses. If it's not one of these applications, it, you know, it, it applies to the other, you know, um, applications or solutions that are out in the marketplace, whether that's an Adobe application or uh, Marketo or, you know, stuff from SAP, it's um, really universal. But we're going to focus on, on just talking about um, Oracle Eloqua uh, today. So again, um, you, you get a little bit closer in terms of the uh, types of users that are using these applications, whether that's the marketing manager versus marketing ops, um, or you know people in creative, um, or, or you know the actual campaign builder. Uh, they are very. They a lot of the time they're working collaboratively, and this is sort of a you know a very different, important nuance when you get into the into this use case. They are working collaboratively towards the same objectives, but they're also working in parallel to one another. Um, and so the, the way they work is often very different. And what their objectives are that they're working on is very different as well. That, that moves very far. 